Is there a motion to support Fredericksburg parts on the rehab of Fredericksburg? And they're seeking another tax credit. I'm going to say as I make that motion because I think I think that the town can only benefit from the improvements that could be made out there to that establishment. Is there a second on council and goals motion? Second. Jack is second. Was that you? Yes. Okay, Jack is second. Uh, Brandon? Yes. C? Yes. Key? Yes. Brandon? Yes. Jack? Yes. Jack? Yes. Warsaw City Council displayed a double standard when they voted to allow Frederick's apartments to get tax credit approval uh, to allow for improvements on their property and they didn't vote for the Meadow Creek apartments uh, to do the exact same thing. The vote disparity was glaring since both votes happened back to back and with the exact opposite results. So why did Frederick's apartment get special treatment and why did Meadow Creek get the shaft? Why did Meadow Creek get discriminated against? Now, the city receiving that property in Craig's Creek, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to incorporate those into the ordinance itself. Therefore, there's not a whole lot of chasing around to figure out what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done, what can't be done. Cannot be done. All right. Is there a motion to accept? Make a motion to accept ordinance 2009 03. Is there a second? Second. 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 As you all know, we opened the bid last month. Fire Chief of Warsaw, Gatson County Fire and Rescue, Barry Alexander, asked the City of Warsaw for a new fire truck. I know you're not prepared. We talked about getting money together. I know it's all there. I have concerns. $500,000 for a truck. You know? I know we need one. I'm not against a fire truck. Not whatsoever. But for half a million dollars in today's time, I mean, I know it's bad time. I know you guys done a whole bunch of research. That's a lot of money, folks. I know the pros and cons. It, 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 you know, and I, like I said, I'm not against this thing. I'm just saying that everybody thinks, you know, half a million dollars was spent on trucks. I think she's really good right here. Our 1996 liner truck at the airport is now $170,000. <laughs> we get a little more cash than you guys. <laughs> yeah, Our truck is 33 years old and we can't pass certification. And if we lose the certification, then you're dealing and looking with insurance rates going up. All from residential through business and commercial. All right. That's that's a downside. Well, I'm, I'm kind of like Granny. Half a million dollars is a lot of money. But in these times we're looking to draw new people in and without that certification we don't draw new people we don't draw new businesses we don't you know we set it a stable rate uh, right now we're at class five uh, our contention is and you i know you all have noticed the work that we've been doing on the fire hydrants throughout the city uh, we paint and color coded all the fire hydrants our contention is that once this new truck arrives that will be able to build a fourth class, if not third class, ISO insurance rating, which will help all the commercial, all the business accounts. And once again, that is a plus. I know the city of Florence bought uh, a mean stick, Seabury mean stick, for seven hundred thousand dollars Same truck we're getting on the truck. Uh, from my understanding, from the manufacturer, because they would like to get a Ferrara area in this particular area. How much was the truck discounted, Kevin? Um, Eighty thousand. About eighty-five thousand. Yeah. yeah. So if you took that eighty-five and added the purchase price, it comes up about the same price uh, as the total truck did. I mean, I thought. I mean, he's thought he don't run a factory or the county or whatever. I, I, I can't answer that, Randy. I don't know. I don't, the judge is not. I don't. I don't know. I mean, we've not approached him. Comparison. Your, your police agency responds into the county when they're needed. And the sheriff's department responds into the city when their units are needed. 
it's kind of a, you know, it's, you know, we help each other. You know, the county picked up the payment on the two trucks, 809 and 811. They pay all the utilities on the fire station. They pay the insurance. They pay all the fuel costs. They're, they're paying a sizable amount. So I'm not, the, where I'm at is I'm concerned that, that the city of Warsaw is not going to bring in enough money to pay for this truck. I mean, we're, we're already in trouble. We're in the red 77000 We got the money to do the, the adjustments to the fire department. You know, the, the building structure itself. You know, but I want to make sure purchase a fire truck before we do those adjustments. Steve. Okay, it's a lot of money, we need it. Um, yes, sir. Did you look into used equipment? Um, Chief, you want to address that? There, as anyone would know, there are vehicles and trucks on the market that are used with the airport. And we knew they got to the truck and had not been hurt. So <laughs> actually had never been on the fire. What's that, what's that say about your career? <laughs> I'm sitting there on the fire watching TV. It's a paycheck. It's a paycheck. I get it every two weeks. You know, there, there's uh, obviously. I don't know, I don't know where, we, where we're going to get it. And I don't, I do not disagree. I, I probably disagree a little bit um, just because I, I see the numbers um, a little bit differently. I've never let the auditors get me upset. <coughs> I think that's what's happened. <laughs> when, uh, no, and, I, and, and, and James Oldman, I am not trying to sway your opinion at all. I'm telling you what, where I'm at. Uh, there is fluff in this budget. There's no doubt about it. There are things that, that you can take. Kevin, if you buy a used truck, they're going to be 20 years old. Say, take City of Cincinnati, their land truck. It runs on every note you call. 60, 70,000 miles on the ladder truck. You know, our ladder truck ain't gonna see that many miles. Engines tore up, transmissions tore up. You know, it's been beaten to death. You know, yeah, we might get it for 140,000, but how much are we gonna put in maintenance in the next 20 years? If you buy a used one, three or four years old, still about the same price, five to 700,000. Just for a three or four year old truck, it's about the same. You know, it all depends on the options. But I mean, you get one down around what we got there at 149,000. It's going to have 60, 80,000 miles on it, and it's going to come from Cincinnati to Houston, Texas, New York City, and it's going to, you know, the run to the call. Every bell can call the ladder truck folks. Every education, that's what the big cities carry their rescue tools on, like ladder trucks and more compartments. So they're going to, you know, they make, they make a lot of calls, and they just run and run, you know, 24 7 pretty much. So that's one thing you got to look at a used truck. Now, like when Chief walked one from the airport, he knew that that one wasn't hurt, that, you know, that was a good buy. I, I do. And I think everybody understands your concern. I don't think there's anybody in this room, including the fire chief, <laughs> that, that doesn't agree with you. Um, you know, 